Bracer's Unity Tutorial, because fuck those time wasters! Create an empty game object. Rename it Bullet Emitter. Proceed to move it so that it is right where you want bullets to appear from. Notice that in this case, I actually place a bullet there as a visual aid. Make the bullet emitter a child of the weapon so that it will move and rotate along with it. Create a bullet if you haven't already done so. Add a collider and rigid body. And drag the resulting object back into the inspector to create a prefab. This will be the object being emitted when firing. A prefab is an object with all the components you need prepared and packaged in. You can now delete the bullet in the scene. It will not be needed anymore. This will be the script I will be going through with you. You can get this c -sharp script from the description box below if you don't feel like typing. These other variables will be exposing by setting it as public, which means it will show up in the component inspector later on. This variable holds a reference to the bullet emitter because we have to tell the bullet where to shoot from. This variable will hold a reference to the bullet prefab. This will be what we'll be instantiating. This variable sets the forward push strength on the bullet when it instantiates. Now let's go to the update function. This inner bracket of codes will trigger when the spacebar is pressed. Here we create a temporary game object to hold a reference to the bullet we are about to create. This single line is what this tutorial is all about. This is where we tell Unity what object it is to instantiate, from where, and what rotation to observe. This line of code is to correct the rotation of the instantiated bullet. You may or may not need this based on the way you create the bullet in the first place. Now to push the bullet, we have to access its rigid body component. This is what we are doing here. Now that we have a reference to the bullet's rigid body component, we can call upon its add force function to push it forward like so. This line is a very good thing. It will make sure that the bullet will disappear after 10 seconds so that it won't be lying around the floor taking up your computer resources during gameplay. Now here comes the easy and final part. Drag the script to your weapon. Drag the bullet emitter to the bullet emitter slot. Drag the bullet prefab to the bullet slot. And add some force to the bullet. That's it for the tutorial. Quick and straight to the point. Next week is going to be about something really cool and straight to the point as always. Guys, if you like this series and want to see this every week, please support me on Patreon. Thank you.